and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video looking to improve your maths, your chess and your general fitness. So today I'm going to discuss how you can prepare for the IB Maths higher level and I'm sure you've heard from your friends it can be quite a tricky course even if you choose the analysis and approaches or that you choose the applications and interpretations route. So in this video I'm going to go through my key tips to get yourself prepared for September or October when you actually start your course. So tip number one is to make sure you've gone through some IGCSE past papers. Really get your algebra and number up to scratch. Uh, when I talk about the IGCSE courses, there are many out there. So I'm going to show you the paper that I would focus on and the style of course that I would focus on as it's specifically designed for the IB maths high level that you're going to do. So this is the course that I'd recommend really to go over and practice a full set of papers, a paper two, a paper four, and a paper six. Now, if you're not familiar with this Cambridge IGCSE course, it's called 0607 International Mathematics, and it's been specifically designed to prepare you for the IB courses. Now, this paper two here is your standard non-calculator paper, 45 minutes. Paper four is the extended uh, calculator kind of paper where it's going to test your knowledge on a more deep level. And then finally, paper six here, which is a really important paper to get to grips with as your paper three on the IB high level will be styled very similarly to this. So make sure you've gone through a paper two, paper four, paper six. Make sure you're getting a majority of the questions correct. Uh, I'd be recommending at this point you're getting at least 60, 70 percent consistently, if not more. OK, and my point number two is to buy a good textbook for the course. Now, there are two main textbooks I'm going to show you here. I'm going to show you the Hayes and Harris textbook. I'm also going to show you the Oxford textbook as well, because even before you've actually started the course, there is still some preparation you can do from using the textbook, which I'm going to show you now. OK, so I'm going to take the applications interpretation high level as an example. But it'd be exactly the same process if you were doing the analysis and approaches. So this is the textbook here. And just to show you, this is what the contents page looks like. If I was to take the Oxford textbook as my reference textbook for the next two years, what I would be doing is by looking at the start of each of these topics and making sure that I can do the mathematics involved. Because generally the way Oxford uh, is designed here is that it starts easier per chapter and then gets harder as you go through. So even at this stage, I'll be actually practicing some of the exercises at the start. So if I go to page four, for example, this is right at the beginning. This is really, really straightforward stuff. I'd be practicing a couple of these exercises. I wouldn't be doing everything here, but just to get myself back into the swing of mathematics after such a long break. In comparison, Hayes and Harris, so this is the other textbook I'm going to show you, uh, works slightly differently. So there is a core textbook that applies to both analysis and applications, and then there is a separate textbook just for applications and just for analysis. So if I show you the core textbook, which is the one I want to focus on in this video, you'll see a lot of these topics that you can already do. So sets and Venn diagrams on most IGCSE courses, working with coordinate geometry, working with basic soccer toa. So my recommendation to you, if you're using this textbook, which I personally would recommend, is go to the review set, which is great. You can just literally click on the online link. You can download these textbooks for about $20 or so 20 euros or so. And you'll see the review exercise here and then just get a bit of practice, get back into the swing of it. And this is why I like the Hazen Harris textbook in particular, because you'll see from the table of contents, they do it by topic rather than by concept. So if I want to practice my right angle trig, for example, I just click on review set 7A and then just get some quick practice on that. The great thing about this textbook as well is also if you click on that here, you'll go straight to the answers too. So I'd really recommend this particular textbook as it gives you that very, very quick practice and that very, very quick feedback. In addition, I'm going to talk about this in my third main point. You can also choose which calculator you are actually going to use. So say I'll talk about this a bit later on. Say you're going to use the TI Inspire calculator. And if I click on that, all the calculator instructions for the more difficult mathematics will that be actually there for the TI Inspire. Or if I click on Casio, for example, then all the calculator instructions will be for the Casio calculator. 
And point number three, which is kind of underestimated on the high level courses, is know your graphical calculator. It is so important to be able to get used to your graphical calculator, know how to do certain functions on it, particularly on the application side, but also on the analysis side as well, and knowing how to use it. Now, I recommend two main calculators here. I'd recommend either the TI Inspire calculator or the Casio CG50 calculator. I'm going to quickly show you now where you can get them from. So here is the Casio CG50 graphical calculator. As you can see, it comes in about 100 euros. Um, it's a very intuitive calculator and there's lots of support work out there to help you get used to it, not only on YouTube, but also in the textbooks. And on, likewise, we also have the TI Inspire CX2. This is the newest model that's come out, although the old model is perfectly fine as well. Um, this is also very, very good. I use this personally. I use the student software when we actually go through uh, walkthrough videos and things like that. So these are the two calculators I would recommend. Really get used to it, really explore how it works, how to do basic functions on there. There's actually a YouTube video I've done on TI Inspire where I do go through the basic functions. Okay, so do please check it out. Okay, and those are my three main tips. So number one, do some IGCSE practice, that paper two, paper four, paper six style of exam, because it'll be very similar to the IB. Number two, make sure you have a textbook ready. Personally, Hazen Harris from my point of view, but if you like the Oxford, that's fine. And get that pre-practice in on the easier topics. And then number three, make sure you know your graphical calculator. I cannot stress enough, say on the harder questions where you want to get those grade sixes and grade sevens, really having a good understanding of your GDC will pay off in the long term. All right, bye-bye for now.